When you think of Los Angeles, you might think about things like the Hollywood sign, or maybe the stars on the Walk of Fame. But today we're here to shine a spotlight on a very different aspect of Los Angeles. We're here at America's Port, the port of LA in San Pedro Bay. This is America's largest port, and they have the numbers to prove it. Oh, do, I don't need I don't need this when I'm on the dock. Okay. Forty percent of all containerized goods coming into the United States come through this port right here, the Port of LA. It handles nearly a billion dollars worth of merchandise every single day. That is mind boggling. And it's all coming through what look like itty bitty containers and are actually quite big in real life. So here at the Port of Los Angeles, there's massive ships coming and going all day long, staffed with 20 and 40 foot shipping containers. But let's say that I'm trying to ship two pallets and I need to ship them from, let's say, oh, like a place in Los Angeles all the way to another place in Shanghai. Well, my two little pallets don't even take up one full container. They might just take up 10% or less of a standard container. So how do I get those on a ship? My two pallet shipment would be classified as LCL, which stands for less than container load. And that means that I don't have enough to fill a container. So my pallets are going to ship with other pallets in a container that are all going to the same destination. In order to do that, you have to work with a freight forwarder. We work with Flexport. But what does a freight forwarder do? Well, here's how it works. A freight forwarder handles the whole transaction. They will pick up your pallets from the original place that they're being made or the warehouse, get them on a truck and take them to the port, the origin port. From there, that stuff goes all the way around the world and the freight forwarder will help track their location until it lands at the destination port. Then they'll arrange for the pallets to be picked up and put back in a truck or some other mode of transportation till they get all the way to the destination. It's all happening right behind me. This is logistics at work. Now for the fun part, guys. When your shipment arrives at port, your container has to be picked up by a giant crane and deposited into your carrier's terminal. This is crazy. From there, your little container will be queued up with all the other containers and wait to be picked up by a truck or a train. And now we're at customs. I never knew how windy customs was. Shipments instead of passports need documents, lots and lots of documents to get through customs. <gasps> oh no! And last but not least, you need a broker. What does the broker do? Helps process all of that paperwork, take care of the taxes, and shepherd your shipment through the customs process so it can go onwards to border protection. <laughs> so when they review all those documents, what are they exactly looking for? A few things. They're making sure that what's in the documents matches up what's in the containers themselves. They're also making sure that everything coming into the country is legal. It's not like explosives or something crazy. And lastly, but not leastly, they're making sure that all the taxes and fees are paid as this stuff comes into the country. That's very important to governments. Now, keep in mind that these are big subjects. Congress gets involved in trade agreements, import export law. So border protection has a big job to do. After they clear customs, containers are scanned and then picked up by trucks and trains and they end up going all over the country. And when I mean all over, I really mean all over. Like containers you're looking at here might be going to like Alabama, Poughkeepsie, Orlando, Nebraska. Orlando, you guys, there might be Mickey ears in a container right behind us. So there you have it folks. Global freight is very complicated. There's a lot of massive pieces involved. Cranes, shipping containers, boats, trucks, all just to get my two pallets from point A to point B. They went on a wild ride, but it's time to say goodbye to this epic port of Los Angeles.